The Messerschmitt Mi-323 Gigant was a German military transport aircraft of World War II. It was a powered variant of the Mi-321 military glider and was the largest land-based transport aircraft to fly during the war. The Mi-323 was the result of a 1940 German requirement for a large assault glider in preparation for Operation Sea Lion, the projected invasion of Great Britain. In order to mount an invasion across the English Channel, the Germans would need to be able to airlift vehicles and other heavy equipment as part of an initial assault wave. Although Operation Sea Lion was cancelled, the requirement for a heavy air transport capability still existed, with the focus now on the forthcoming Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union. On 18 October 1940, Junkers and Messerschmitt were given just 14 days to submit a proposal for a large transport glider. The proposed Messerschmitt aircraft was originally designated Mi-261W partly borrowing the designation of the long-range Messerschmitt Mi-261 then changed to Mi-263, and eventually became the Mi-321. Although the Mi-321 saw considerable service on the Eastern Front as a transport, it was never used for its intended role as an assault glider. Early in 1941, as a result of feedback from transport command pilots in Russia, the decision was taken to produce a motorized variant of the Mi-321, to be designated Mi-323. Initial tests were conducted using four Gnome engines attached to a strengthened Mi-321 wing, which gave a modest speed of 210 km per hour to 80 km per hour slower than the Ju-52 transport aircraft. A fixed undercarriage was fitted, which comprised four small wheels in a bogey at the front of the aircraft with six larger wheels in two lines of three at each side of the fuselage, partly covered by an aerodynamic fairing. The rear wheels were fitted with pneumatic brakes, and could stop the aircraft within 200 meters. This was clearly not much better than the Mi-321, so the V-2 prototype became the first to have six engines and flew for the first time in early 1942, becoming the prototype for the D-Series aircraft. The selection of the six engines, and their specific placement on the wing's leading edge, were fitted to reduce torque a trio of counterclockwise rotation engines mounted on the port wing and a trio of clockwise rotation engines on the starboard wing is seen looking forward from behind each engine resulting in the props rotating away from each other at the tops of their arcs. As per the Mi-321, the Mi-323 had massive, semi-cantilever, high-mounted wings which were braced from the fuselage out to the middle of the wing. To reduce weight and to save on aluminum, much of the wing was made of plywood and fabric. While the fuselage was of metal tube construction with wooden spars and covered with doped fabric, with heavy bracing in the floor to support the payload. The D series had a crew of five, two pilots, two flight engineers and a radio operator. The flight engineers occupied two small cabins, one in each wing between the inboard and center engines. The cargo hold was 11 meters long, 3 meters wide and 3.4 meters high. The typical loads it carried were, 115 centimeters SFH-18 heavy field howitzer, 7.5-track artillery tractor vehicle, two 3.6-ton trucks, 8,700 loaves of bread, an 88mm flak gun and accessories, 52 drums of fuel, 130 men, or 60 stretchers. Some Mi-321s were converted to Mi-323s, but the majority were built as six-engine aircraft from the beginning. Early models were fitted with wooden two-blade propellers, which were later replaced by metal, three-blade variable pitch versions. The Mi-323 had a maximum speed of only 219 km per hour at sea level and speed dropped with altitude. For defensive armament, it was armed with five 13mm MG-131 machine guns firing from a dorsal position behind the wings and from the fuselage. On the 22nd of April 1943, a formation of 27 fully loaded Mi-323s was being escorted across the Sicilian Straits by Messerschmitt Bf-109s of Jagd Geschwader 27. When it was intercepted by seven squadrons Supermarine Spitfires and Curtis P-40 Kittyhawks. Of the 27 transports, only six reached their destination, the remaining 21 of the Mi-323s were lost while three of the P-40s were shot down by the escorts. A total of 198 Mi-323s were built before production ceased in April 1944. The Mi-323 remained significantly underpowered. The Mi-323 was also a short-range aircraft, with a typical range of 1,000 to 1,200 kilometers. Solid, nose with 20 mm cannon turret, two additional wing turrets plus up to 10 other machine guns and cannon of varying calibers firing from standard and new waist, beam positions. 
two prototypes built and tested, but series was cancelled after it was judged that normal single-engine fighters were more effective in the transport escort role. No complete aircraft survives, but the Luftwaffenmuseum der Bundeswehr in Berlin has a Mi-323 main-wing spar in its collection.